My husband Mark and I were celebrating our third wedding anniversary. One minute, Rosemarie Rossetti was on a bike ride with her husband, and the next, she was paralyzed by a falling tree that injured her spinal cord. And I looked up and I just said, I can't move my legs. Permanent disability results from the fact that nerve cells either die or the nerve fibers that they use to transmit their signals become damaged and they do not regrow. It's the same cause of disability that affects millions, not only those with spinal cord injuries like Rose Marie's, but also those with nerve damage caused by stroke or progressive diseases like multiple sclerosis and ALS. Their conditions long thought to be permanent, but Dr. Benjamin Segal and his research team at the Ohio okay. State University Wexner Medical Center are working to change that. We are now becoming aware of a, a reparative arm of the immune system that can arise naturally to some extent in the aftermath of injury. A few years ago, they discovered a new type of immune cell in mice that triggers repair and regrowth of nerve fibers. They also gain the ability to produce factors that protect nerves that are damaged and help them to survive, prevent them from actually dying. In their latest research, they've not only confirmed that this type of healing cell does in fact exist within the bone marrow of humans, but they were able to successfully grow new healthy nerve fibers by removing these cells and stimulating them in a lab. The ultimate goal is to use these cells in order to actually reverse damage, in order to restore lost neurological functions. A complete game changer for those living with these devastating conditions. That would be a, a dream come true to say, all right, you're no longer um, paralyzed. At the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, I'm Barb Consiglio.